function pointer, if you remember. Yeah. And we're talking about the callbacks, right? Yeah. So we took some practical examples of how Linux uses interface, right? Yes. But today I thought, you know, I'll give you a perspective of how embedded C programs can be developed for object orientation and its implementation, you know? Okay. So, so sometimes, you know, if you consider, you know, the C++ program, mm -hmm. uh, because it's an having an inbuilt object orientation concept available, right. uh, you know, it, it also generates a lot of code, which you may not be able to, you know, generate all the time. So, okay. Yeah. And, you know, like it generates a lot of extra code also, which you may not require in the constraint environment. Of course, you know, if you have to consider the modern processor and its architecture, uh, even Java is fine because, you know, we are pretty rich from the resource perspective. Yeah. Yeah. But if you, yeah, but if you look at, you know, uh, not every box will be like always rich like a desktop. That is for sure. Correct. Correct. Yes. So there is a need for always an 8-bit and 16-bit and 32-bit controller with limited power and processing power and storage. Because they, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't need a huge computation uh, technique and power. So okay. automotive, uh, automotive, you know, applications are known for this kind of, you know, uh, this program. Guys, hang on. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, sorry, mm -hmm. just coughing. So, you know, uh, how do we write C codes, which can, you know, give the object uh, as an, you know, view that that really helps you to write a lot of object uh, based uh, supported programming in, you know, uh, C as well. So, you know, I remember there was a, a huge move uh, from all the automotive and weapon and defense companies in 1998. And they started this MISRA standard. Okay. And they wanted to ensure that, you know, embedded C++ standard will come up. So embedded C++ um, was not a standard. What they did is they started stripping out a lot of runtime activity of a uh, compiler. And finally, while they finished doing this job, they realized it's like, uh, you know, uh, almost like a C coding altogether, you know. And uh, why not to do it in uh, C++ rather than using C? Mm -hmm. So there are some, you know, very um, subtle difference in terms of the way, you know, NC C++ plus embedded C++ uh, has some support. Okay. And Japanese company were very, very particular about bringing this, you know. In fact, a uh, lot of central processing unit was designed by NEC, Hitachi, Fujitsu. And even Toshiba, you must be aware all of them. Oh, yeah. 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 These guys, no, they put a lot of effort to, you know, preserve uh, like C++ style features, but still in C kind of thing, you know. Okay. And um, they could release that through an MC standardized stuff. Yeah. But, you know, like some features which you cannot expect in C++, uh, uh, sorry, uh, I mean the embedded C++ to not have is like exception handling or they didn't want it to have multiple inheritance support or some, you know, specific uh, class specifier or packaging or template. So when they started stripping out all this information, you know, what they were left up was almost like a C code and it was very irritating. Okay. And they fall back to, you know, once again, you know, C programming for embedded kind of this stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. mm, so I thought, you know, uh, why not uh, we also try to you know, approach the same that if you wanted to in, implement, you know, object style coding in C, in C. Yeah. yeah, then, you know, function pointer becomes a very uh, important uh, concept for all of us. Okay. Just one second, I'll just boot this and show you. It was just launching this picture. Did you get a chance to go through the function pointer thing? Oh, uh, not really. No, I didn't get a chance. I know you guys must be busting too many work there. In so you are still in Aris or are you leaving that? No, it's Comscope now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Comscope. Yeah. We are we are Comscope now. 
so it's the been a month, month? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so, so that orange color is gone and the blue color has come inside yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> orange was much better but you yeah it was better uh, guys uh, they they are mostly into this cable and uh, you know this wifi stuff so i never understood the reason of why they bought because you know both of them are the same way, 6 6 billion dollar company yeah equivalently yeah. i thought even why not iris could have purchased company. Yeah, iris could have bought it but uh, yeah i don't know uh, so they are um, any still insights figuring out what to do and <laughs> streamlining and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah. Any insights? Like, you know, what kind of threats and red color, green color, amber color? We're all, we're all curious to know. I mean, <laughs> so they have like this 90-day uh, plan. Oh, is it? So, day one and day 90. So, that's how they they have... Uh, <clears throat> oh, is it? Yeah, planned. So, everyone, all of us are waiting to hear what is that 90-day plan. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> They'll bombshell something or what, man? <laughs> the crazy stuff, huh? Yeah. Zero to ninety days. Somebody says, "Looks like you know, I'm warning you, beware." Kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, I mean, we are like Aris was like seven thousand, eight eight thousand. Yeah, uh, employees. So this these guys like twenty two thousand, twenty four thousand. I don't know how for same seven billion dollar company. I mean, how can they have yeah. four times? I mean. Seriously? Oh my God! I think yeah, it's they like they have a lot of technician installation. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That field application engineers and all, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a huge company now, like thirty thousand employees. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I, seriously, it becomes suddenly very big by the number, but yeah. Yeah, by the number, but yeah. I think they should not change the you know the way you know the product company is all about. So they should. Uh, very clearly not become another Banya company. That's very scary for me, actually. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, right? I've, um, I've read about this Comscope deal. I mean, some the this angel investors. I mean, uh -huh. so they have invested a lot of money, like a billion or so. Oh, okay. Those guys, you know how they work, right? I mean, <laughs> they're like big shark. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're. they're yeah, I mean, they will fix their numbers and as long as their numbers meet is fine. Otherwise, you strip somebody else. As long as their number keeps meeting, they are okay. Care, care, who uh, technology. Uh, I mean, they definitely don't care about all those things. Yeah. You know, when sometimes I feel that, you know, the goons are the ones which drives a big company. You know, it's scary sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I, I hope, you know, they will not uh, change the uh, at least the most valuable aspects of the company, which is product and, you know, and the people, yeah. and, you know, and keeping uh, resources are very important. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, to, I mean, just my personal, uh, mm -hmm. just my personal thing. I mean, when I left uh, US, uh, it was still Iris and uh, they promised that uh, they will take me back this year, sometime July, August. So you were but, in Georgia Tech, I mean, Swane? you were in Swane. I don't know. I was in Horsham. Oh, Horsham. Okay, okay. Yeah, the East Coast. East Coast. I got it. Yeah. Amakur, Amakur. So uh, then now after after this Comscope, I'm just waiting and watching what's going to happen because I my competency is hardware. Yeah, you should get back quickly there before these guys start winding <laughs> the <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Go back there quick, man. <laughs> I can wish you that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. So, okay, let's try to build one small, you know, object orientation program. Okay. So, I just wanted to ask you, do you have any idea of uh, a C++ program ever you have seen? in? No, not much, not at all. Okay. It's very limited. Mm, okay. So, you know, usually, you know, if you look at an object-based programming, no? uh, object is referred programmatically as a collection of uh, data and methods. It means uh, data is uh, their attributes and methods are the functions which will operate on it. So now C has this uh, challenge, you know. See, if I give you a structure or if I give you a function, uh, you know, say if I have a, 
struct say file okay and i have some function say f open design by me uh, and if i have a function void say S sqr t designed by me or if i have another function say void okay get file size designed by me you know it takes an int f t uh, maybe it takes a double number and then takes say maybe a name of the you know file name just giving in a small you know example so we'll see what happens is you know by looking at these functions you know it is like f open i just wanted to know by looking at this f open function mm -hmm. uh, what does come straight first in your mind and looking at this data structure do you think that f open some or the other way is related to this struct file file open right. uh, yeah 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 kind of i mean tend mm. to think uh, yeah i mean very logical you know connect yeah. how about this uh, second function sqrt yeah that that may not doesn't be, look yeah doesn't that may not be a good connect right yeah the same thing with git file size looks like it okay is doing something related to the file so you mm. may understand that you know the psyche of designing these uh, you know uh, function itself is the uh, the relation with that structure in mind. So there is a structure in my mind or set of some structures in my mind, which I want to do with it. And more like these functions may not make any other sense for some other structures, like say, if I create one more structure, okay, what is happening? Okay, something happened. Sorry, hang on. Let's see. Yeah. So I was trying to say, you know, like control R, I think, yeah, redo. Yeah. So what I was trying to say, in case if I wanted to add some more, you know, data on this, say uh, one more struct, say and I say say date struct or I say a struct, another called as a person struct. So I never mean that these functions can ever make any sense again to these structures. You understand, right? True. Yes, yes. So what we were saying is, uh, you know, despite these functions are correlated with these structures, mm -hmm. they are not, you know, coupled together in a structure. They are kept uh, decoupled, you know? Okay. So if you have a very large source code, so if I tell you, when you, hey, I've got this code base, it has some tens of thousands of source code, and it has some hundred structures and some thousand functions. So how do you know which function belongs to which structure and which uh, function is, which structure belongs to which algorithm and so and so on? You see? Yeah, it's hard to. It's pretty hard, right? So that becomes a very intimidating uh, challenge for large source code to maintain it. So how do we couple that is what, you know, these object orientation programs do that. What they do is they use the logic of coupling. It means an object will be combined with your data and methods together. So I will take a set of data and I'll take a set of methods and say that, hey, they are co coupled together inside and we call them as a class or something and represent them. So in, in C, if we had to achieve that, what we do? We combine the data and the function pointer together. That's what we do. So that by looking at a structure, we already are aware hey, that this is the, you know, I mean, the functions and these are the interfaces which will be used across with these data. So it only applies to them, you know. So it brings in a very good focus and easily you can maintain even large C code. So this is a very visible program which you can, you know, uh, see in the Linux programs as well. So Linux operating system itself is an object oriented program, despite entire thing is written in C, you know. Okay. So that's the reason. So now let me show you one demo, oops, example in C. How do we achieve this? So our idea will be, we want to construct a class, say, uh, 
a date class, you know. Okay. And for date class, we want to have say some dates, say in day and uh, in character, say month of say some four, and then I may have uh, an int year. Okay. Now what we can do is we can, so these are the data which a date will have. Now to plan that what kind of interfaces I'll give to operate on day, we can do some setter getter stuff kind of thing. It means some functions which are going to edit the data, some functions which are going to initialize the date, some function which is going to change a particular uh, format in a date or so and so. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is we can think of declaring say function pointers by saying say fp underscore set date. Maybe it doesn't have any return type, but it takes parameters maybe. Like it takes int comma character star comma int, you know. So this is an example of what? We are thinking that, you know, there will be an interface related to this date object. Whoever wants to access on date, there will be an interface called a set date. Through this set date handler, you can do whatever it is. So it will control that. Okay. Maybe I also want to have one more, you know, function pointer here. I'm sure now you can understand the function pointer yes. declaration. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So maybe I want to show the date as well. And then avoid it. The thing is, whose date do you want to show is also required. So the, whichever the objects you want to pass, that's the date you would like to, you know, show. So let's assume that we have a, another function here, demo, oops. And then we will have something like, uh, say, yeah, we'll create an object, say date, say today. And I want to assign some global methods now, say, I will say void set a date. So whose date is that which we want to set is the design idea. So I can say something like, you know, today dot and what is my handler? FP underscore set date. Set date. Yep. This will be holding the address of what? The global function which will have the set date. Set it. Now, the thing is, how do you pass the address of this set date is also a very important thing. Whenever we say today.fp set date, what we mean? Today's day has to be set, today's month has to be set, and today's year has to be set. So the first compelling problem is how will this function know which object or which you know uh, date has to be set? It, should it be the today's date or should it be tomorrow's date or yesterday date or some temp date or something like that, you know? Okay. So one additional interface gets attached with this. Okay. Like we can say something like a uh, type def struct and why type def struct means I can use here itself as a shorthand. Otherwise I can write a single line also at a later stage. And the first parameter itself will be like a date pointer. Whose address you want to show? Date's address. So today's date address will be passed by me and I will show them up. This technique is what you've been used. So idea is what? If you have a four parameter design, you will actually introduce five parameter. The left hand side will be a special pointer called as a this pointer. Okay. It will hold the information about that whose objects is going to undergo the change or access. Okay. That is the idea. We'll see through right now. Because of this, we will also have another function called a set date, which will have this uh, date as at this pointer. And I mean, you can name any pointer, but in object orientation, we call them as a this pointer. Okay. And then I will pass all the formal parameter like int month and, and a character star say, okay, int was a day, right? Yeah. yeah. Character is a month and then again, int as a year, you know, something like this. 
and now what I do is I say this of d a y this of d means this will be holding the address of what the object today it's a pointer right yes uh -huh. so this of day i'll be passing that actually when i make a call to the function okay okay it's all right uh -huh. so what i expect is tomorrow when i set the date how do i pass is i will say today dot fp underscore set date you know f function pointer can also be called as a function as well yeah, yeah. so here i'll pass today then say one jan and then 1970 something like this okay. so now you can get what i'm trying to do whenever i call a function pointer interface called as set date the first parameter i'll pass is my address itself so that it knows that hey it is my data you have to modify correct okay okay so this today's address will be stored in which pointer the same structure pointer correct yes so in uh... so if i say today this of day it refers to what today's day correct yeah isn't it mm -hmm. another manual option could be like this also today dot day but what happens in functional programming we don't touch the original data or object oriented programming we should never touch the data directly we should always use an interface to communicate it okay. so that practice makes the program more you know object oriented and safe okay. so this can be d and i can have a string copy a form for this of um, of what is my string which is month is m and i also will say this of y yeah u is equal to y you know you could definitely argue that this all things we can do directly also isn't it yeah yeah i mean directly we would have access the data but the object oriented principle is what that we do not touch the data directly we always touch the data via an interface itself and here function pointer is acting like an interface interface for me yeah it's a very strong programming not much uh, uh, developers focus on this kind of a design but it's a very powerful i mean you know some elite programmers of c will definitely make use of these kind of programs and for them you know it will be like you know they will still consider this as a simple program only but you know it it, it reaches to that state yeah. eventually like in a hardware if somebody ask you right now you will rip him for sure right <laughs> so it, it's like that yeah. okay now let me see yeah first we'll only talk about this function let me show you this so i'll say gcc am i there oh okay okay sorry I'll get into this media. It's the animation. On the Google Drive. So, what's the plan for tomorrow? Are you guys going out somewhere? It's a holiday, right? Public holiday. Yeah, holiday, and I've taken um, one more day uh, off. There's oh, some, that's good. Yeah, family function. So we are. Um, yeah, some change is needed here. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Any plans, sir? Animation from you? Uh, for me, I mean, I am uh, too much. Uh, I have taken some huge amount of work, which we are working on this company building. You know. Oh yeah. So this EAJ has become a passionate stuff for me. So okay. I want to give this company a very good, quick, you know, sustainable, you know, uh, shape. Yeah. So you know, struggling a little bit here, mm -hmm. and. Um, seeking help from people like you to you know connect to some other companies and see how we can you know make it more bigger yeah, yeah. Uh, so your office is headquartered in bang i mean uh, yeah it's in that alsur lake you know that uh, oh, okay, okay. that rmz millennia old phillips building kotala yeah okay 
Oh, that, uh, just opposite to the lake, also lake there is. Mm-hmm. Another one is at Indra Nagar one. That's a back office kind of thing. Oh, okay. Which we also have. So all the you know like accounting and other things happen there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And here is a business office where we all sit. You know. Okay. So we're just trying to grow, you know, and bring some consulting activities and other things. Yeah. And maybe I wanted to meet you guys and see, you know, something. Yeah. Sure. Because you know, in US and all, a lot of possibilities are there. True. Yeah. yeah. So maybe yeah. you know, let's uh, finish the session, and then you know, I will like right. to meet you also. Yeah, there is there was a little bit of thin client. Ha! Huh, I heard. I heard. Yeah, I know. So that that is kind of outsourced now. I mean, uh, was that um, LNT? Oh. LNT is doing uh, that work. Harris is not no more uh, in model. Hey, what here? Those kind of work that we only can do. <laughs> Thin client is a disclose operation kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, so Iris no longer wants to get involved with that, but but still have to support the legacy. Uh, legacy boxes of all your set of boxes, TVs are there, right? They all have it. Then still need to. So that kind of things, I mean, that keeps changing. I mean, their strategy. Yeah, so maybe after this, we have to see if they have some, you know, low cost model which they want to throw it out to someone. Yeah, yeah. Typically, not in India. I mean, you have to talk to the US people, they are pretty open. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're pretty open. And straight. Yeah. 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 If you can do the work, nothing like it. Yeah, Yeah, of course. I mean, everything comes to you. Uh, uh, true, true, true. <laughs> These guys are a showpiece only sometimes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But they 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 claim that they control everything. But <laughs> in reality, I mean, I I I I learned through the hardware or hard methods. I mean, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's how it is. Alva, <laughs> I mean, yeah, definitely. I know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I always like the way you know they decide things and they don't keep hanging out and you know. Yeah, they don't usually. True, true, true. And here though it is very difficult. They don't respond your mails also. Yeah. Check Nangesh I <laughs> something you know very big is happening or something and <laughs> no I also get you know sometimes really bogged down why right? these guys are you know like this yeah I mean you have to mature right I mean yeah kasta ili kasta adnodi vande obba ali melgale maartira ade like aagtilla If you close the tap from the top, everybody becomes upset. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this type def here being uh, ignored, I'm just going to remove this here with the type. I think C11 has changed this and then take a type def here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think some other errors are not being recognized, so we can use. So what's my error? It says uh, invalid user for this, you know, non-member. Okay, you know, one of the funny thing is I have named the file as .cpp file. That's bad. It should be a C file. Oh. Uh, powerful. C++ compiler is coming up and it's trying to show the error. <laughs> okay. okay. I was thinking it was C11, which has made the change, yeah. Okay, so gcc.c file now. No, I made it up. So now we can see, you know, the result uh, has to be printed because we have it printed out. Yeah. So it's, you know, we will have one more function, say, you know, uh, show date. So whose date we have to show is myself, whatever the I am there, so show my date. So. I will again have a date uh, of uh, start this year. Um, we will print this up. The date is uh, um, so 
I will make it as a mod D slash mod S slash and then again the mod D. Right. And here we have to set this off. Uh, day. Yeah. And then this off a month. And then we'll have a this off here. So this of day, this of month, and this of year. Yeah. And again, if I need to call that function, what I need to do, I need to assign. So the moment I create an object, C++ compilers now automate all these things. What we are doing manually here, C++ compiler, Tana generate model. Okay. Show date, and this assigns to a show date. Very, you know, very uh, professional way of you writing the program is what I can say. And here you pass them. So C++ programmers, yeah, now here we go. See, we explain them, you know, that guys, when you make a call to the function, you don't need to pass this address, a state difference. In C++ compiler, what happens is, by default, you know, the function gets modified. You, you don't need to manually pass the address of your object. It's automated. The compiler will automatically understand. You just need to pass the formal parameter and they will manage the show. Okay, now type one. And now let's see the result of this. As you can see, yeah. it has been set to what we were expecting. Uh, you know, more than result, you know, the, the design of the way, you know, an object-oriented program is written in C can be more visible to you. <laughs> but to conclude, what we can do is we can say that, you know, in object-oriented programming, whenever we use a function pointer, okay, it is clubbed along with the data. That is the whole idea. So data is also there and method is also there. So instead of having formal method, I cannot define a function inside a structure. That's not possible as I said earlier. I can't say something like a foo function like this and open and close. It will become an error. Compiler don't accept that. Because C does not allow such functionality. You can see some kind of illogical error is coming up here. So only the way is you design a function pointer as an interface and these interface internally will hold the address of tomorrow. You know, encapsulation is very nice because tomorrow no, you can change the underlying definition with either. Mm -hmm. Instead of set date, we can come out with one more version which is more you know, optimized or equivalent. Only change which we need to do in the same time of the calling is assign that as mm -hmm. So set date version two, version one, version three, mm -hmm. other so then what happens when you build, you know, the, the underlying configuration will decide what kind of algorithm we can use for accessing the objects, you know. So it gives more flexibility. So even state machine programming is also built on the same design. Like yesterday I was trying to give an example of a callback function. And then we created a state machine program where finite state machine did. We, we knew that there are only six interrupts which we are going to handle in say 805 months. Oh, yes. so, yeah. I remember, no? Yeah. yeah. So we'll fix it and hard code it and we'll keep those addresses always there. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, to look at that program, you can further make it uh, uh, more stronger actually. So say pointer, uh, so yeah, I think function pointer, yeah. Function pointer. Yeah, it is possible for you to also print the address as you know, right? So you can say mod p and the name of the function itself is what? The address. 
So if we want, we can run this program, which is a GCC function pointer dot C. And when we run this, at least we know the address over here, correct? Yeah. yeah. Resetting the controller when the address is coming here. And what we could do is in our program, when we create the construction, no? yeah. if you remember, this was a different style of uh, program which we had chosen. Look up, Lee. So I'll make this as our FR1, and uh, this one I'll comment it, right? Yeah, so if one and then I'll say send it. Yeah. Okay, what happened? I think if his placement is not correct, hang on. Something more is coming up. Okay, type def is also missing a percent out here. Yeah. Now let's try this. Yeah. So some error, unexpected error within while one. So line number 59, let's look at that. Yeah, I don't need this anyway. Um, if one also need, but while what why why we had planned it is oh well, we wanted to run the event continuous, right? Yeah, that was the idea. Why does it creep then? I don't think so. It should creep. Hang on. Error expected identifier or something. It means error is happening somewhere else. And then is line number 70, which is unexpected, okay. So IVT is fine. Oh, you know, the name of the function itself is also missing. So we should do end if here. Okay, and we could comment these all. Function itself was not having the body to start. So started considering while one itself as an error, you know. Mm -hmm. The code should be inside the function. Uh, the name of the function itself, we had not put it properly. So now, you know, zero was a reset and we had this address, okay. So I'm just trying to say that we will remove this and here we give a macro call as a reset. Our hardware code, what we do is we just say define reset as that address. Got it now. So like this, you can think of the hardware address, I will be aware in the hardware, right? My PDF schematic will give me the physical address after chip select la quarter Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'm just trying to bring the same thing here. Okay. Even, you know, instead of writing the name and the alias of the function here, I could have written directly this hard coded this value. The address yeah, address itself. Same thing. I'm just trying to make it more, you know, live for us so that it understands that, okay, there is a, same program and zero is the same reset. So everything is wor working. Why it is giving a warning? Usually it has an idea of holding an address, function name, this one. It's a function pointer, right? Yes. But what we have done is we have uh, uh, put it directly as a naked address here like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it is confused a little bit, Dustin. 
but we know that internally it is nothing but a function pointer only and i can it's a function i will just invoke it that's it okay. so you know you can make the program more uh, connected to the hardware in in, the, in this fashion so that was one of the idea on the you know function pointers so i think with all these now we can look of one more uh, a last style of a function pointer could be um, trying to see if we can use and achieve some optimization also so how to use optimization with a function pointer so you know i will give you a problem statement Sure. Okay, and that you can try to see if you can optimize it through a function point. Okay. So the problem will be like I will have a switch program. Okay, so uh, fp underscore optimize. Let's see. And assume that you know you have some functions here. Say a double sum float x and float y and then return x plus y right and i'll have more functions like this just for idea okay that you put some stress and see if you can do this okay right but otherwise how are you finding you know the concepts are getting clear no? yeah so, i'm getting the concept so maybe i mean once the, the some the, some hands on you know you need to do yeah, some hands on hands on yeah so what i can do is i can open up a small module for you to try out as an offline which i can evaluate you know something like in weekends what you have done yeah 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 uh, off the record i mean yeah. yeah yeah so that you know we see that you know if uh, some mini project that on source code code base code thing mm -hmm. okay. and you know i will ask you if you can get that what is this code base doing first okay. then let's try to build it and then i will say that can you make some changes of it there and all okay. so i think that will teach us uh, some more challenge yeah open up one of them uh, do you know how to use any cvs like uh, code repository um, have you used like git or something yeah i have used uh, git git use madhyala so you are convenient in using git no um, i think so <laughs> <laughs> yeah no problem so what we can do is whatever the code base i'll give you start creating a small same project and you git li clone madibittu publicly okay you add me there so whenever you you know make some change in the code base or edit i can log in and i can see and review the code there and there okay okay yeah sure. so it you know it will help you there and there yeah we started our career with cvs cvs uh, code versioning system from unix oh okay i know dabba <laughs> azel very simple actually mm -hmm. Yeah, the git uh, it has become very powerful right? i mean it's really good distributed logic alwa yeah. see monolithic to a distributed logic uh, is the next generation so you can see how hobbyist can become so lethal you know it's the same linus travels only has de designed that mm -hmm. he is only the originator for linux kernel yeah so bitbake was creating a problem for him ado irritate aagtitte adakke mm -hmm. ಇರಿಟೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಗಿಟ್ಟೇ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಸಾಧನ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟಿ ಅದಷ್ಟು ಕಣ್ಣು ಕಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ಇವರೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಬಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಯಾರ್ ದೇ ಕೋಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಾಚ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಅವರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಬಟ್ ನಮ್ಮದು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಮಿಮಿಕಿಂಗ್ ದೇಮ್ ರಾಧರ್ ದನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಆರಿಜಿನಾಲಿಟಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅದು ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ 
ನಾವು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ದುರುಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಏನಿಲ್ವಲ್ಲ ಸರಿ ಯಾರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತೀಯ ಅಮ್ಮಪ್ಪ ಅವುಗಳ ಬದಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕಾಲಕ್ಕೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನು ಎಂಬರೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಡು ಐ ಜಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವನು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಮೂವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಅದೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅದೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಫುಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಜನ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದೇ 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 ಸೊ इवन ವಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ देम ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದ ಜಾಬ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡು ದಿಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಇನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಯಾಷನೇಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ರಾದರ್ ದನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮುಂಡೇನ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೀಲ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಕೆಲಸ ಇಲ್ವ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪ್ಪ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಫ್ರೀಲ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತ ಮಗ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಏನು ತಲೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂಬಳ ಕೊಡ್ತೀಯಾರ ಯಾಕೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬಂದೆ ಮದುವೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಆದ್ದೆ ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಆಗ್ಲೇಬೇಕು ಅದೊಂದು ಕಷ್ಟ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ಲಿಟ್ ಯಂಗರ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರಾಪ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಬಹಳ ಹಿಂಸೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಇನೋವೇಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಅದೇ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಯಲಿ ಮುಂಡೆ ಅನ್ನು ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಯಂಗರ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಇವನ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ಆಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಏನಿಲ್ವಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೋ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಇದೆ ಬೆಗ್ ಕಥೆ ಆಗೋಗಿದೆ ಐ ಸಿ ದಂಗರ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಯಾರು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕಷ್ಟ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ನೋ ಟು ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we so hard, right? I mean, mm. I can't think that you know, those kids can do this kind of work which we used to do. No way. No way. That's not going to happen. And this will be like... so you know something like this is this program and so i would say while one and then i'll take scan f and i will take mod d slash nothing okay just take the address of this choice ch print f just to say that you are hanging around for a message you know Oops. so this is a kind of a hint you know to the user gcc fp underscore you know optimize okay, there is some problem here okay case one print test no 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 ah, function call is not closed function start agi de close agi la print f has to be closed sum is closed print f close maadi la So I'm calling the function as a parameter only inside a function, right? Because anyway, 
I know this, all these functions are going to return a double. Yeah. Okay, no, you need to. Okay, cases have been repeated there. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, line number 35. Okay, so while isn't closed. So now let's try. So one is two plus and two is to this and three is to this and four is to this. Some expectations are being matched. Okay. Now I want you to optimize this program by using a function pointer so that this kind of a, uh, you know, uh, switch cases and these all comparison doesn't take place. Okay. Okay. So, you know, what could be a technique of you uh, you know, using the way of function pointer so that you know you can directly make a call to the you know this instead of going to a switch and then comparing and then making a call to this function and jump it and then execute it and then return can we have an interface designed by us okay a callback designed by us okay okay yeah. So a callback in because we should have one of the parameter which takes the address of the function and then the other two numbers. So instead of using this switch and all, I directly make a call to whatever the operations I want. Through the function point. Ah, that through the function oh, okay. So how do you do that, Antha? Is what I want you to try. So what do you think? You get some immediate another idea, idea. Are you able to think some ideas immediately? Like one more function you declare in a way that you know it takes a callback function. Callback function is a function which takes a parameter as function pointer, minimum, right? Like signals or at exit, I'll come okay. okay. So they are a very good example of uh, callbacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? I mean, so you can put some stress. I mean, you know, so should I leave it empty or you want me to complete to create it? I, I'll try. Um, yeah, I mean, just think, you know, how do you, you know, replacing switch with a function pointer kind of a thing. Some readings are there. You might get some examples also in the internet. Okay. And yeah. if you can get that and then you get this is much easier, at least to think, no, I am, uh, yeah, that is more important. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll take up this. Yeah, yeah, just try to see that how, you know, yeah, yeah. Even though if it is not there, it's fine. You know, we can anyway, I can cover it. That's not it. So, I think with this, you know, the function pointer part is almost uh, through majorly. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I've given quite a good amount of time for function pointer because they are the core in the, you know, C program. See, embedded programming, if you do not know the, you know, function pointer, then probably, you know, uh, you didn't started running, writing, you know, standard C programs. Okay. So that's a very you know, okay. crucial thing. Everyone, you know, uh, has to start with this. Okay. So yeah. complexity is covered for today, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think one more session, I, what I wanted to do is, also introduce you, you know, the data structure. Now that you know, you know everything, putting, you know, and writing complex problem statements will be very, very easy for you. Okay. But only thing is now we have to give you some, you know, build challenge. So I'll introduce you another session, which will be talking about the data structures. Okay. So, you know, like the way hardwarely, we will have some data structure like system registers and all. Yeah. And then we write some algorithms to you know transfer the data and store the data. Same search, same time complexity problems mm -hmm. by using the linked list and binary trees and you know hash table, lookup table. We try to solve the same kind of a problem in you know uh, C over here. You know, so how do you construct the data structure? How do you access them? What kind of functions can you write them? 
So I'll take one overview and I want you to, you know, do some work there actually. So Nive Madi, so that, you know, I, uh, I mean, you should get the you know, coding benefits now. Yeah. yeah. So I want you to see that you are frequently coding. Yeah. yeah. So maybe, you know, I will uh, think to also arrange some of the assistant classes. Logically, we'll uh, call this, you know, after the couple of sessions. Okay. 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 But still, we will have a connect, you know, to personally assist you and see that, you know, your, sure. uh, this thing is still running on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask Mubarak to find good time from you and we'll keep scheduling, you know, a couple of more sessions like this. Yeah. Thank you. Sarina. I think for today, let it keep, uh, I'll keep it here because slowly you'll be yeah. getting into the call also, right? In some time. Yeah. Any other questions you have to ask? Or something, you know, yeah. So, uh, the, I, I mean, uh, just to get an idea, I mean, so the data structure is printing and uh, what, what else is uh, after data structures? I wanted to cover you the cross building, you know, the Ivaga. We did this on a native, right? Okay, so what we do, how do we build the same applications on ARM architecture? Oh. Uh, and how to build that cross build structures and cross testing, hmm. how to configure an ARM box uh, with this C program directly running over it. So that is also left over. Okay. So these two things I will cover as a part of the session. Okay. Then almost, you know, as a part of, you know, see, it will yeah. get, uh, you know, over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, once a complete RML, we will oh. take some days uh, and then... No, what we will do is, I'll let it complete, uh, we will have a revision class kind of thing. Yeah, what other course I can enroll? Uh, uh, ah, health in, health in. Sure. So you can guide me there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of things, you know, I'm thinking to, you know, talk to you. Maybe you know, what we will do is we'll catch up for some coffee or something after this session gets over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some ideas which I want to discuss with you. Okay. Yeah, on different lines, you know, like okay. there will be a lot of people and you will be knowing in the in, in your network, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking, you know, how we can you know, sure. bring things together just to see if there is any possibility. Sure. Just, yeah. Sure, yeah, we can explore. Yeah. So, yeah, meanwhile, this upgrade plans and all, whatever I feel, you know, it should, if we sit face to face also, no, discuss, then we also see where we are heading and yeah. Yeah. it will be more easy to package things. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. let's take a break. You enjoy your break and then let's catch up on Friday, Allah. Yeah, Friday. Friday. Okay. Right. Friday will be 8 o'clock as usual, right? Yeah. Right. Thanks. Uh, ah, sure, sure. Have a wonderful two yeah. days of a break and come back. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank